Okay. Can, can I can I help? Can I? No. Do no. Cut All the rest of the room. Yeah. Okay. My name is Daniela. I'm a games data analyst at the Stockholm studio of Rovio. I'm Portuguese and I studied in Portugal. I did my master's in Lisbon. My background is in computer science. I've worked in data analytics at a research lab uh, in Tokyo, Japan. And I've owned my own company, like a development uh, game studio focused on virtual reality. My day starts when I grab my cup of coffee and I start kind of just looking at the data of the day. I look at data from players play, uh, playing our games and I use that in order to improve the game in the future. I take that data, get insights, for example, how engaged players are, like how are they interacting, and I communicate with the game designers and game, uh, game teams and I try to I try to collaborate with them, trying to define better uh, improvements. I really love uh, Stockholm as a city. It's bubbling with new companies, with high tech. It's beautiful, like there's a lot of water everywhere, like buildings look picturesque and beautiful. I grew up with the stereotype that, oh, like, they, they're very un unapproachable and cold people. That's not true. <laughs> so far, my experience has, has, has been great. And it's super, super easy in Stockholm to meet people that are passionate about certain hobbies, certain interests. And when it's around a certain interest, it's super, super easy to, to meet people and to forge uh, very good relationships. That has been a little bit my experience. I really, really love Swedish, Swedish people, like in general, like stereotyping, oh my God. Um, yeah, in, in general, I've been really, really enjoying to meet Swedish people. It's possible to actually live in the countryside and enjoy nature. The area I'm living in, in Stockholm, is called the, the Stockholm Archipelago. It's basically a set of islands all around the city. Uh, in the countryside, um, I live in an island called Värmdö. I chose this place with my partner because we really wanted to live in the middle of the forest, like a little bit kind of like countryside, and be able to work, uh, work in the city. My commute uh, by car takes around 40 to 45 minutes, so I think it's a very nice trade-off um, for, for being able to have the luxury of living in the middle of the forest. office like we are around 70 to 80 people and it's located in the heart of Stockholm it's very easy to to commute to to get to regardless of where you live around Stockholm because it's really at the center there's really nice bars and and lunch places nearby and Fridays we have our show and tell where we show to our colleagues what we have been working on and enjoying and talking, listening to music. It's, it's pretty cozy. Oh, I really like Fika. The Rovio community has, has really made me feel very welcome. People are really, really great and easy to collaborate with, to work with, and even after work, there are a lot of events that have made me like easing to my new life in Sweden in a in a very smooth way. It's it's very comfortable and everyone is always saying that oh the best thing about Rovi is the people like very like it sounds very cliche but it it's true. Yeah.
that was the last question. My brain is pudding. Oh my god, this is so hard. Yeah. Sorry. Hope, hope my boss will like that. Really? 